We are learning new details about a shooting involving an off-duty sheriff's deputy in Kane County. That officer killed someone in Elgin. It happened late yesterday afternoon along Walnut Street. That's where our Sabrina Franza is live. And Sabrina, neighbors suspect that the person was a young adult. Jimmy, we're just now learning from the Kane County Sheriff that this appears to have started because of an armed robbery. We're waiting more details on that as well as for the identity of the person who was killed. We do know that this happened around 435 yesterday afternoon here on the corner of Walnut Avenue and National Street. The Elgin Police Department had the street blocked off for hours, responding to a call for a shooting that involved a Kane County Sheriff's deputy. CBS News Chicago has confirmed that that off duty deputy shot and killed someone. Witnesses tell us they heard multiple shots and later described evidence markers littered on the ground and a tent that police constructed over that person's body. As I mentioned, we still don't know the identity of the person who died here or the name of the deputy involved. Neighbors who saw the aftermath of what happened were understandably shaken by it. We spoke to Rodney Hunter, who owns a business next to where the shooting happened. I observed the, you know, the body laying there because I didn't know what was happening at first. They didn't say when they didn't say anything, but they covered every they covered everything up so you couldn't see. The King County Sheriff told us that he is proud of this deputy who acted while on duty. The King County State's Attorney's Office also tells us they're in the middle of reviewing all of this preliminary evidence that they've they've received between yesterday and today, and they will hopefully get us an update as soon as a few hours from now. For now, we're live in Elgin. Sabrina Franza, CBS News, Chicago. Sabrina, thank you.